Hey guys, this is Zach from Kalamazoo Flight Instruction and today I wanted to do a video about the approach to land. In my experience, I've performed some recommendations that I have that might assist you when performing the approach for your landing. The perfect landing starts with controlling the aircraft and the pattern. We can't begin to position ourselves for a successful controlled touchdown until we have control of the plane on descent. If you are familiar with operations in the pattern, you will know that a beam the threshold, your carb heat will be out and you'll begin pulling power back. You will see that I am keeping the nose straight and level to slow my airspeed by keeping the nose from lowering. The first mistake that I see students doing on the performance of their approach to landing is losing control of their speed. Once we've added flaps and we're going down and turning base, we want to control our airspeed and keep it constant. I like to target 70 to 75 miles per hour for my speed as I'm turning base and final to the runway. This gives me a little bit of room between my speed and the stall speed and gives me a little bit more control. The key is to control your pitch to keep your airspeed constant. Again, as we know, if your airspeed starts rising, we bring the nose up slightly. And if our airspeed starts going down, we can start pitching down to pick up a little bit more airspeed. But again, we're not jockeying the throttle back and forth. We're not making huge changes to our pitch. We're just controlling our airspeed as we go down. You'll notice that my flaps at this point are all the way down. As I continue descending to the runway, inevitably, at the rate that I'm descending with only one notch of flaps, I'll be too high. So again, to control our airspeed and make sure that we don't pick up airspeed as we begin pitching down more, we can add more flaps. The principle of this is simple to remember. If you want to go down, add flaps. If you still want to go down, add more flaps. Every approach is different, and it isn't every time that we add just enough flaps right at the right time. If, for instance, we lower too much flaps too early and we find ourselves too low on approach, we can add more power again to arrest our descent rate. You will see that I am restraining from pitching up to extend my altitude. Conversely, I keep my pitch down but add some power. With this amount of flaps, I will slow my descent rate and begin extending to the runway with the power. Many students want to begin pitching up, thus losing a dangerous amount of airspeed, but we have to resist the urge and use our power and keep our nose down. 